Colder Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. <laughs> Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is that the roll call, please? <clears throat> Mrs. Denny? Mrs. Ellis? Here. Mr. Hafton? Present. Dr. Huber? Here. Mrs. Jones? Here. Mr. Mancinelli? Mr. Seesock? Mr. Twistler? Here. Mr. Arnold? Here. Approval minutes. Motion to approve the minutes of the June 18th, 2024 special board meeting. Do I have this motion? Second. Questions or comments? Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Uh, 2.02 is the invoice listing. Motion is to approve the invoice listing for June through July 2020. That's motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. 2.03, charge report, Mr. Zell. As of May 31st, 2024, Pendoka's balance was $41,428,189. During June 2024, local, state, and federal revenues totaled $7,203,845. Disbursements were issued in the amount of $14,018,457. As of June 30, 2024, Pendelco's current balance is $34,613,576. The motion is to approve the treasurer's report for June 2024. Do I have this motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Announcement to the public tonight. The board met in executive session to discuss personnel litigation matters. Any comments by members of the board? None. Number five, that is board information. Uh, district website update. Doctor. Yes, I will. So here for just a moment. Share the board some updates on our uh, update to the website. First of all, since I have the moment, and typically don't have a super tense report uh, during the summertime, but I did want to point out to our school board uh, really that it's been a very, very productive July uh, by our staff that are working during the summer months. Um, one of the things that I've noticed this summer, if we're hearing from our principals, is a much richer deeper pool of applicants for vacancies. And that's a good sign for the profession. I know coming out of COVID, uh, the number of applicants and qualified applicants for teaching positions was pretty thin. And what we're hearing is that that's bouncing back to levels that we're very pleased with. And the folks that we're rec recommending for hire tonight uh, on the agenda, uh, I've, I've done final interviews with and we are very excited about the people that have applied and are being recommended. So we've got a great pool of applicants particularly people that are impressed with our reputation, who live in our community, and are proud to work with Pendelco. Uh, we're currently uh, midway through our summer administrative leadership team training. We had day two today. We bring all of our administrators together. Uh, yesterday, we spent most of the day uh, getting a tutorial and prep on artificial intelligence, on its impact on education, on its impact on teaching and learning, uh, impact on students, how to handle uh, that issue of cheating that might be taken advantage of, certainly, uh, by students with the use of artificial intelligence, uh, but also how to set up chat box for our own professional and personal use to be more efficient at the work that we do. Um, so we had really wonderful uh, half-day training in that. Uh, our administrators also took time uh, to update our interview questions that we use for applicants uh, for all positions, whether it's custodial, whether it's teaching, uh, to make sure that the questions that we're asking give us the kind of answers that will really help us make good decisions, but are also relevant to 2024. Um, we also took some time yesterday to have a, a round table discussion. All of our ministers had a chance, each principal had a chance to go to a session by facilities, a session by HR, a session by business office, to make sure that there is alignment throughout our district and we don't have any holes that aren't being addressed. Facilities department doing a great job today. We had a trainer in today uh, for summer leadership training, and the trainer came in and said, guys, we go to a lot of buildings, this is a beautiful school. He always loved to hear that. Uh, today in our summer leadership training, the entire admin team was trained on seven habits of highly effective people. That they are foundational to the work that we're doing with Leader and Me in our schools. We can't ask our teachers and our students 
uh, to participate in those programs if we don't understand it ourselves. Uh, then in the afternoon, the elementary principal did some planning on it around Leader and me, and our secondary group worked with special education on that TSS. Tomorrow morning with the admin team, after the session, uh, will be uh, Dr. Kamek and his team uh, working on teacher and learning issues and also security issues. And then in the afternoon, we'll be talking about our comprehensive plan, goals for next year, and then also have a fun way of wrapping it up. Um, our central office is now a drop box for tax payments that has been very well received and folks not be able to go to TD anymore. Um, assessing the state budget and its implication on our ability to maybe introduce or expand some services or supports. We've been doing that pretty quickly. Uh, we're not going to rush out and just spend state aid just to do it. So we're being thoughtful about how we can make wise use of that little additional state aid that we receive in the budget. And I want to thank our staff uh, who have been volunteering to work for uh, this summer uh, for us. Uh, they stepped up and they said, fine, you know, I'll come in and I'll work with the kids. They're doing a great job with ESY and summer school program. Looking ahead next month, we expect certainly another busy month, new teacher orientation. First days back for staff. August 28th, they'll be in the buildings. August 29th, we come together as a district. August 30th, fall seasons, fall sports are beginning. We'll have the middle school Viking day coming up. Uh, we'll be doing four-year teaching and learning planning and developing our PD calendar. Uh, we have several, Day 191 and other PD sessions being offered at various locations throughout our school. In fact, uh, many of the Parkside staff are coming in to do more leader and me work and planning for next year, with them being about a year ahead of everyone else. And then activation of our new and improved Pandelco website with a mobile app to follow in the fall. So this is what we look like right now. We have a web site redesign update. Just want to give you an idea of what the website will look like when we turn the switch in the next couple of weeks. Here's a little before and after, right? You've seen our existing website. Um, it's been this way for about five years now, I'm going to say. Um, the company itself that we use was purchased. Here's our new one. Very clean, but still feels like it's in the same family. It's a evolution, not a revolution. News and announcements page upcoming events. We have pop-ups, of course, that can happen as well. Uh, there's a piece on our portrait of a graduate. At the last minute, they gave us another section to add in there. Uh, that piece will take a little time to fill, but you'll see really good uh, pictures from our district. Uh, we were looking for a clean look, professional look, same district colors, ease of use is an important piece for us. Uh, this company, the final say a lot of uh, districts use them, you go on the page and it's a giant picture. What we wanted was a picture with information attached to it so you weren't overwhelmed when you saw the image. So that's what you'll see on our new web page. Pictures will also have a banner to the left or to the right that will tell the story. It won't just be a standalone picture. So we want to stay in the same family where people won't be shocked. People won't say, where do I go to look for information? The areas will be cleaner, tighter, brighter, uh, but will be a, similar to where we have been in the past. So in terms of this navigation, getting around, same district not domain, improved navigation design bar, that's going to give you quick access to the most frequently visited pages based on the data that we have. There so are new, somewhat new school domains that people will be able to set up and they can get from a drop down piece for us as well. So it's action.pdsd.org. So each school will continue to have their own domain for school specific information. Basically, what we have is a district home page. They call it Hero Images. So we'll have rotating images on the main page, captions, links. The photos advance automatically, just like ours do now. So if you have three or four important pictures that show up, they'll, they'll just go on your website. I mean, go on your main screen. And then the option to press scroll or to advance manually through those. We'll continue to have our hashtag. Uh, icons will be the same as you see uh, as our current site. So for people that want to get to Skyward quickly, just click the button. You want to get to the menu quickly, just click the button. You want to look for jobs. I know Dr. Piscol is happy about that. Just click the button. I'll tell you what jobs we have available. Uh, you want to register your child, just click the button. So we're trying to make it easy for folks. There'll be a section on news and announcements. Uh, it's about great. So, you know, once that's up there, it'll go through a rotation and typically by the time it's, you put a fourth news item or announcement up, it's time to pull the other one off. So it'll look sharp. Uh, great pictures from our district. Ms. Gangle that we've hired uh, to do communications coordinator is a photographer 
at heart, so she'll do a great job. There's a link to view all news. So you, if you are a Aston parent, you want to read all the news from Aston, you'll be able to go to Aston webpage, view all news, and you'll have all the news from the school year to be able to see. Upcoming events, so anything that is in our activities calendar will in there, certainly our board meetings, uh, anything pops up where people are like, I'm not sure when that event is, I know it's coming up, we'll be able to go right to this page and see that. That's what I was talking about with our portrait of graduate and our five C's. Um, we had another panel that we were able to fill, and we want people to understand what really matters to us, right? We want to get kids ready for life, and we want to develop character, we want to develop collaboration, we want to develop critical thinking skills. So in these boxes, this will be a link to the things that we are doing in the district to promote those areas. That'll take a little time to build, um, but we're gonna make wide use of that area as well. And then down the bottom, we have our mission statement uh, and the footer at the bottom, which will have links to social media, such as Facebook and Instagram. Uh, a couple other things she added up in here, calendar of events, and some, some other pages, if you look at this, clean, easy to use, fresh, just click right on there go up above even in fact if you want to bring down uh, certain items but you'll see here you can scroll through there's pop-ups you click the event and then the event will tell you the information that you need to know there's a calendar filter as well you can say I just want to see events from Parkside just show me what's happening at Parkside and you won't get all the information from all the different schools so really pleased with that the news and announcement page we spoke about that one uh, school board information. <clears throat> so we looked at this closely because an increasing number of parents are telling us they go on there. They're looking for our policy. They want to know where the board meetings are. So I asked Allison and uh, Lisa at the time to really kind of clean this up a little bit. And we think it looks polished. We think it looks sharp. Uh, we'll ask the board members to give us your bios as well because your pictures will be in there. And if you want to update some of your bios. And you'll be able to see the latest board meeting there. We have links to our board policies go back and you'll see meeting agendas and minutes and also the click to go to the school board policies right to the right it was hard to find in the past and uh, because it's just the nature of board values so we're happy with how that one's turned out student registration right first time you come here you want to enroll your child what do I do how to register your child walk through all the issues that you have to have resolved um, go through the paperwork tells you what documents we need based on district policy easy to scroll through you know, questions about kindergarten so what do I do there and we have information about you know having a great beginning of our kindergarten program frequently asked questions and we think it's easy to navigate as well finally separate to that so I hope you hope you, we think you're really going to enjoy that website um, I just want to remind you this is a public meeting and I know this gets taped we encourage people to join our family we especially are welcoming part-time workers who want to make the difference in the lives of children. We want to work, want to earn a nice living, um, but also want to do work that's valuable. And we have opportunities for teaching assistants, for power educators. We have opportunities for folks who want to do work as custodians, uh, bus aides. Uh, and some people love working in our cafeteria. They recognize what they do. They go in every day and they work hard at delivering really good, valuable lunches and breakfasts for our students. They want to work in that field we have openings in that area as well so we're really trying to encourage people in our community to think about working for Pendelco as an employer because we are a family and we do a fantastic job serving our uh, employees and making them feel at home so thank you for the opportunity to share with you the update on our web page at this time Um, starts on 
page two, three, four, five, carries on through six, ends in seven on page seven. References the Pendulco budget 2023 to 2024. Pendulco budget 2024 to 2025, Act 93 plans, PDA agreement, PDESPA agreement, PDSSPA agreement, the PA school code section 1108B. These administrative recommendations to approve all personnel items as presented. Go ahead, Mr. Lewis. Second. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, we'll do a consent agenda for 7.03 through 7.13. Um, if anybody wishes to have anything pulled off to vote individually, please. All right, with that, I need a motion to approve agenda items 7.03 through 7.13. All contracts and preparation and solicitation of bids are subject to solicitor review. So moved. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Uh, opposed? Motion passes. Any comments by members of the public? Huh? Members of the board? Um, I just wanted to, especially since this is being taped, everybody watching, I just want to, on behalf of myself and my family, just thank you for the amount of support that you showed. My myself, the respect that everyone you showed my husband, I'm proud and just thank you from the bottom of my heart. If I can also say on behalf of the district and the residents that we represent, the student athletes, the children in our schools that go to school with their daughters, uh, you guys are at the top of our list in terms of how good we can help. And it means so much to us that you're here tonight, uh, that you're uh, continuing in this spirit of service. Um, we are proud to wear the shirt tonight. Uh, the outpouring of support for Tommy was so great showed the impact uh, that he made and uh, it's been it's been difficult I had not know even know what to say to him because you know he feels so bad um, but I have to tell you his his legacy is huge and enormous uh, and I hope that that will bring uh, some some comfort and peace uh, during this time for you because the entire district's here to help you and your daughters out thank you Mr. Future meetings are Wednesday, August 21st here at the Service Center and Wednesday, August 28th uh, at the Service Center. Meeting for terms? 